Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi, and welcome to Postscript. I'm Lou Ann Riley, Grow Group Director, and I'm here with Bible teacher Ben Stewart, who just talked about Psalm 22 That's and right. the topic of suffering, which there is a lot on the doctrine of suffering. Right. Um, and one of the most challenging things to wrap your mind around and understand as a believer. Mm -hmm. And um, the question that we had come in today is probably one of the most popular questions mm -hmm. um, about suffering. And so I'm just gonna ask you and we'll start from there. Okay. What about those that pray to God in the manner that you're talking about, mm -hmm. but are not delivered? What, mm. what does the word say about that? Yeah. Well, um, that's something we have to be careful you're not over-promising, like what does delivered mean? I mean, you think about in Jesus' experience, how far did God let it go? Mm. To the grave, to over, you know? Mm -hmm. And so if we're saying, oh, I think I should read these passages and go, then whatever difficulty I'm in, God will get me out of it at some point. You go... God will let it go a lot further than we think we sh it should sometimes and let it go all the way to death. It did for Jesus. But the hope we have as Christians that really pops and really stands out at like funerals is our hope extends beyond the mm -hmm. grave. Like Jesus went into the grave, total absence of life, total end of life, but that was not his end. He rose and beat death. And so we look at ourselves and go, whatever suffering I go through, and however long it extends, it will not ultimately be my end. And if someone goes, well, that's kind of cheap um, comfort. Everybody's going to die, and you're saying our suffering might go to death. Mm -hmm. You go, yeah, but if all you have is death is the end, that's a hopeless existence. The hope of Christianity is even death is not the end for us. Mm -hmm. You know, that there's life beyond it. And so that's where you look and go, Jesus is pretty clear with his disciples. You associate with me, it's it's going to be trouble. And he said, some of you will be imprisoned. And he said, the Holy Spirit will be with you to give you words to say mm. before they kill you. And then they'll kill you. And so it's interesting that he says, the Spirit of God will be with you, but not to save you. Mm. He'll let you die like Stephen, let you be stoned to death. And yet even then you're not a victim. Christ mm. rises to greet you and you have a hope and a future that extends into forever. And so for me, when I experience physical pain, and mine isn't near what other people have, I go, I'm asking him to make it stop now. I'd like for him to stop it soon. But I understand that he may have purposes that extend my whole life. Mm. And I know that ultimately it won't be my end. There will be a day when all this trouble's gone. And for me, that hope of resurrection becomes even greater in my soul the more pain I experience. You realize probably every third verse in the New Testament mm -hmm. is about our hope beyond the grave. Mm -hmm. And so I would say lean into that. It's not always about direct deliverance from this thing I'm in right now. It may tarry much longer than you want it to, but God is still sovereign and God is good. And though we weep now, at the end, we won't have questions. We will have celebration. There is sense to it. Uh, anyway, I can say more, but that's probably there's a good. lot to yeah. say. <laughs> yeah. A lot to say. I, it makes me go to Romans eight, where this light and momentary suffering is nothing compared to the glory of what we will experience, and just clinging Absolutely. to that hope that we have in Jesus. Um, mm -hmm. Great message today. I love Thanks. how last week and this week we're both the prophecy and the parallels. Um, right. So great message. Thanks. Glad to have you back with us it again today. Looking yeah. forward to seeing you next time. And thanks for joining us today for Postscript. Keep your questions coming. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org postscript.